Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Here we are, working on another project, but we'll get to that in a second. Let me show you what happened with the e-brake. Uh, you can see where I've attached the clevis there. Come back here to the block. And then we've all seen this apparatus right there. So let's move on to the next. Okay, yeah, you can see where the e-brake goes in there. You got a little action right there. Let's see, can I reach in there? All right, no movement. So the e brake is successful. Imagine that. All right, guys, let's get you back over here and we'll sh be showing you the next, what do you call it? Oh, the next gadget. My next gadget is going to be a shifter. So, what I've put together so far is uh, I'm going to be cutting this material down. Let's see if I can move some of this stuff here. So I'm going to be uh, putting a bracket together to uh, mount onto the tailpiece. And then, uh, so what I've got here so these items here with a brass. Oh, what do you want? Just a brass insert into this metal tubing attached to a foot and then this Himes joint that I'll be screwing the shifter handle onto and I have drilled a hole through the side for a set screw. This one here is just a socket head but I'm going to be drilling a hole into the shaft material here and I'll be able to set that pin and it will end up setting that to where when this is rotated back and forth that this shaft will rotate. And I've got these shaft collars to lock it in place so the shaft doesn't you know, do any of this hootsy lots of stuff. So let me put this thing together. Give you guys an idea of where I'm at right so far. I know it's core infusing, but we'll make it work. So like I said, the old shaft collar. Slide this other shaft collar on there. So if you can see that, I hope. So what I'm hoping to be able to do with this 
is this will end up mounting onto the bracket. And then I'll end up drilling a hole into the shaft material. And then I'll use this cap screw here to tighten up into the shaft, which will allow me, I'm hoping, it'll allow me to see how you get this hinge to swivel back and forth. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to incorporate some kind of a detent. I'm going to be able to take the handle, swing it back, and then hopefully swing it into a detent. I've got a, I've got a hope that I can do it, and that's why I'm, you know, putting in the swivel action into the shaft. And then here, when it's into park, I'm going to have a normally open, normally closed switch. So it'll be, it'll be a, a normally closed switch for my, my neutral safety switch. And so I'll end up, you know, when I'm in park, it'll have the normally closed, no, normally open. I'll get back to you on that one. Anyway, what I'm trying to accomplish is that the switch will be closed so I can start the car, but when I shift out, when I take it out of park, then now it'll be an open switch to where if I were to leave this thing in a, in a gear or neutral or whatever, this car's not going to start. So, hope, you know, incorporating that with hopefully incorporating a detent. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this bracket here. All this material here. I'm going to cut it down. Yeah, you can't see the end of the tailpiece. It's kind of a little template that I'm working on. It'll you know, square off like this, cut out from around the tailpiece. There's a bolt here, and then there's a bolt uh, four inches on center. I still got to cut that hole. And then I'll take this template down here. I'm going to incorporate this first little hole here, but the second one I'm going to have to drill it out here. And then, you know, do the little sexy little grinding action on it. And then, like I said, this action will be sitting on top of here. And then my linkage, my linkage will tie up to this end of the shaft. Let me uh, get you over here and I'll show you the tailpiece. So you can see those two bolts there at the top of the tailpiece. So, as I said, you know, this bracket will sit down over that like that, and then I'll have all that shifter mechanism stuff on top of this. down to the shifter. Okay, well I'm going to get working on that stuff and I'll bring you guys back during the progress. Alright guys, we're back from making the 
first bracket on the tailpiece there. And uh, I guess this is going to give you a little bit better of an idea. I've got probably enough on that shaft. Uh, that shaft's about a six and a half inches. And um, you can get an idea a little bit better what's happening there. This appears to be strong enough where, you know, you don't have really any flex out of it. And then, so you can see that I've, I've got that lock collar hogged down on that. And I'll be putting a weld in this area here, crossed here, and then on the front side of that foot there. And there, and there. So, like I said, I've got the lock collar action on there so we don't get any of that action going on. It'll keep it in place. And then this is going to scoot around on me, but this is kind of the idea that I was, you know, that's kind of the maximum throw right there with that Himes joint. And then back and forth here. So I'll leave a little bit of an RCH just so so there's some clearance, you know, good clearance there. But that's that's what I'm after right there is hopefully I can I can add a detent in this thing because I have the a way to swivel that. So uh so that's about what I'm finished up so far today. And I'll be putting together a linkage here in the next video. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time, huh?